I go to Kasnak. So yeah, I go to a snack and uh, uh, <laughs> and then I started practicing. I I spent like half an hour in that particular room to lab out like different movement. <laughs> And uh, then, like, after midnight, like, past midnight. I, I was like, you know, I, I was, my head, my, I, I don't know what I was doing. I, I had, like, a headache rather bad at this point. And it was, like, past midnight. And we was done by that point. So I was like, yeah, whatever, I'll just try another one. <laughs> Just before going to bed, because I was like so mad that I died twice in the same place. I, I just couldn't let it go, you know. I uh, I was also very much addicted to Hollow Knight at this point. I just couldn't stop playing that. So I was like, whatever, fuck it. I'm 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 gonna do another attempt. And I knew that if I finish that, it will be like 4 a.m. at this point. And so that was a very bad idea. I, I uh, yesterday I, I got like five hours of sleep at most, and uh, yeah, that that was just the state of my mind. I was super tired after job. I was like super tired after first attempt. I got like a minor snack, uh, eleven in the evening. I just said like fuck it. I'll I'll just do one attempt. You know, if it dies, it dies. Whatever. And also, bad thing about this attempt is that I didn't take a bathroom break after snacking, right? And I and I got like a big cup of tea with some bread. <laughs> and this is another run that uh, I was trying to get, and we we're gonna see, we we're gonna look at that, we we're gonna see how it goes. <laughs> So, yeah, keep in mind that it was almost 1 p.m., 1 a.m. when I started this run. It was like 12.30, I think, or something. And uh, I didn't really know what I was doing. So, uh, legitimately, like, in some parts of the run, I was catching myself at, you know, zoning out. When I didn't really pay attention to what I'm doing and... I was just thinking about other things, you know, just random thoughts flying, flying past. Like, what am I, what am I going to eat tomorrow? And like, what am I going to work on tomorrow? You know, you know, stuff like that. Basically, not focusing on the gameplay. And I know that Blue claims that he plays better when he's distracted. And for me, it's totally not the case. If I'm not focusing on the gameplay, I immediately fuck things up. And I can spoil it right away. There will be some places uh, in this run uh, that will definitely show that. <laughs> <clears throat> so yeah, this is uh, past midnight, 112% attempt with a mild headache and uh, only five hours of sleep prior to that. So at this point I go like like 18 hours without sleep, like 18 to 20 hours without sleep. I no, no, like 18 hours without sleep, yeah. Uh, so I know for some people who are younger, it's 18 hours without sleep is whatever. But for me, I can't really do that anymore. Bad RNG from this guy, but okay. <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, y <laughs> Usually when I, I do... When I'm on stream past midnight, I can't really get a good runs going because I'm super tired and... Uh, people who often watch my streams... Uh, people who watch my streams know that... I don't really play well when I'm tired. 
generally when I'm feeling physical discomfort I'm not very good at, at gameplay but at the same time physical tiredness has can have a positive impact on the gameplay and I will tell you why so since you are physically tired you just don't have much energy for nerves you know like your body just can't generate as much adrenaline just because it's worked up already so instead of being nervous uh, like instead of being nervous you just want to be done with it you know it's, it's a completely different feeling you just don't get attached and if run dies if run dies uh, at a good pace when you're super tired you don't feel mad you're just like oh god well now i can go rest finally so so yeah it definitely changes your mentality you definitely pay less attention yeah and you you definitely you're definitely less invested in the run if you're tired and, and you can clearly you you will be able to see that a lot in this attempt like 503 is a decent vengeful spirit it, what like early game in 112 it absolutely doesn't matter you know you know unless you're not like two minutes behind uh unless you haven't like died then there is absolutely no reason to reset people who reset early game because of minor time losses you know and by minor i mean literally any time loss but death they just don't know what they're doing like of course it's your it's your free time Vinch 5 was kind of rude of course it's your free time but if you want results it's not about blue iceland like there is no reason to call out blue it's it's literally all 1xx runners <laughs> well most of them most of them there are very few runners who play early game correctly in 1xx and um But yeah, most 1xx runners just don't play 1xx early game correctly. They just reset too much. And if you reset too much in the early game in 1xx, you can't have good mid and late game. You know? Yeah, exactly what... You, and it's even true for any percent, not only for 1xx. Like, we almost got a fucking 31 with 331 vengeful spirit in any percent. One two two one. <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> I just missed a nail hit night. So yeah, th this is like small mistakes that I'm always doing when I'm tired, like this slight miss inputs, losing nail cancels, bad turnarounds. This is all tiredness, tiredness. Hey, Colette. So yeah, literally, don't ever reset early game. Even if you go for top times, do not reset early game. This is it's just not worth your time. I'm already at Fury, this is actually bad. Because now I have to, you know, literally kill everything and it loses a lot of time to freeze frames. Yeah, pretty, but I also have a lot of hours in this game and I have a lot of dedicated practice. But yeah, what I was talking about, yeah, never reset. If you die in early game, if you die before Sanctum, you can reset, but anything else, right? If you reset anything else, then you're just doing yourself a bad favor. Really. And you know why Scruffy's PB vote, why, well, why Scruffy's world record is so much more valuable to all of us? is because the video includes 12 minutes of resets before the PB. So you can have a glimpse at how Scruffy tries to get a run going. And you will see that he just, he just doesn't reset unless he dies. He just goes no matter what. And that's literally what you should do, always. Because, yeah, because any percent in this game is bullshit. <laughs> I 
And the worst thing about that is that any percent, not any percent, early game in this game doesn't have much time save. You see what I'm going here? I don't have six hits, so I have to uh, collect more. And of course I don't get double. This is a very safe thing. If you don't get a double, you just go back to the gate and his slash will never get you. This is very safe and consistent. <clears throat> So you see, I'm already, I'm like what, like six seconds behind the good early game by my standards. And I'm like 10 seconds behind of what, you know, like Blue would consider a good early game or Kuro. But yeah, why resetting early game is so bad, right? Because early game... As much as it kind of emotionally taxing to lose time there, it doesn't have a lot of time save. Almost died here because she tried. You see what I'm. You see what I'm doing here. I miss a lot of slashes and my movement is very erratic here. You see. You see what happens. This is because I'm kind of panicking here, and I'm also tired. So I really, I really afraid to make a mistake here. So what I was going for, yeah, early game just doesn't have time save. Like early game doesn't have a lot of time save ever. So if you're trying your hardest, you are re you're resetting for hours to get 10 seconds in early game, you just waste an opportunity to save 20, like 30 seconds later in the run. Mid and late game just has way more potential time save. And that's why your first objective is to get to mid game as many times as you can. Yes, exactly, Mazak is a gamer. That's exactly my point. Oh. Yes, Scraffy dropped Fury because, like, this is also a thing that a lot of runners just afraid to do. If you can't get runs going, if you die to Hornet or Soul Master, just drop Fury, it's not a big deal. I went for this run, like, like 15 hours ago, like 18 hours ago. Also, early game is not very exciting in this game. So if you do early game over and over again, you naturally get bored and less motivated. So the more runs you get past early game, the, you know, kind of more fun it is. I'm already plus nine, but it's fine. Like, it's whatever. I switched to this strat for expo. I, I switch my explosion pogo strats like every month because I just stop getting explosion pogo and then I switch strats until I stop getting another strat and then I switch back. <laughs> So this is my current iteration of Explosion Pogo. So far it goes well. You see I saved point 0.8 on my claw, very good. And this is the first test of paying attention, whether I go for the lever or not. And I passed the test, I didn't go for the lever. This is a new reroute that I was learning. Oh, missed the jump. <laughs> <laughs> I went a little bit slower there because I wasn't sure if I'll hit the mushroom and got, yeah, got stuck here too and got bonked. Uh, I'm gonna save those like 13-ish, like 12-13 seconds because I skipped the lever. <laughs> you can definitely notice like if you watched uh, any percent world record reveal from Lep yesterday, and you watch this, you can just immediately see how much more different movement is. You see how wide I go. I, I literally go way wider than I need on every corner. 
if you are familiar with speedrunning this game and you watched uh, laps run, you, you, you just see how much more optimal any percent movement is than, uh, than what I do. Like every dash is perfectly buffered, every corner is just perfectly cut. And you know, like every turnaround, there's just, it's like so much more effective. It's absolutely no time wasted, no time, no space wasted. And um, I can do more optimal movement, but there are two factors. First, I really play worse when I'm tired. Uh, so it, it's just harder for me to execute when I'm tired. And second, I started becoming paranoid about walls in Hollow Knight. So walls on on all patches can get you stuck. But on current patch, you can get stuck in more spots, in, in like going up and hugging the wall. So I noticed that they started, like, that they stopped cutting corners. <laughs> and this is something I need to get rid of. This is like a bad habit because it, it loses time over overall. <laughs> but it's just paranoid movement. Uh, like when you slide up the wall and you're touching it, it will just stop you sometimes. In some spots, it happens notoriously. Like in some spots, it will almost often happen. In some spots, it will never happen. So you're just sliding up the wall and your movement gets cut, cut out. But yeah, as you see, this early game is like 10 seconds behind of what my PB had. And uh, my PB had very good early game. By 112 standards. Yeah, it is interpolation meme. For sure, Serpent High. You see how... I'm just, I'm just so safe here. I literally stop and if, here I just damage tank through. Because uh, he, yeah. You see how slow I'm going? Like, uh, the good entrance to Soul Warrior Arena is sub 20. And I went like here 21. So very, very slow, but also it is, it, this is just, yeah, this is just bad fight overall. I decided to heal here. I'm going really slow, but also I take my time to get consistent. It's just normal movement and I have a particular strat in Hell Room, which like literally almost worked. I go under plot, you see what I'm doing? I'm going down there and it's just so much more consistent. It's a little bit slower too, but you basically never get hit. You're just, yeah. I'll go for early control here because I have a lot of uh, HP and I just had a voice crack. <laughs> this is, yeah, I failed the pogo. Again, y you see I'm doing a lot of small movement mistakes, like very small, m that don't have a lot of impact. And this is uh, live when you do past midnight. Also, hi Gwonki, congrats on your PC build. Let's go. Going for Fury Fight here. You see, I missed a nail hit here. I just uh, haven't buffered my nail hit correctly. That was very good uh, double. And I dashed the wrong... I almost dashed into the fireball, so just dashed the wrong way. This is like very slow fire. You see, I, I missed my jump here as well. I just uh, haven't uh, buffered my jump correctly. So, yeah, a lot of mistakes on this fight, and it, it's very slow. I'm already losing, uh, like, 12 seconds to the first phase. But also, I'm alive, and I have a lot of time safe in this fight, because in my PB, I got very bad RNG and also forgot to go to Fury. <laughs> like... Luckily, I got the best possible second phase RNG, even though I missed one hit. So I only saved 5 seconds, but it, it's okay. <laughs> so.
So if we take reroutes into account, I am now like five seconds behind my PB. Something like that. Chuggers in the chat. Can't get early control here because I killed both uh, polis on the dive. This is a pretty cool escape. I dashed into the wall. I shouldn't really have dashed into the wall there. That was like a small movement optimization I could have made. I like how Lep yesterday was talking about, you know, small movement optimizations for literally every room and any percent and how it matters. In 112, our movement is way dirtier than that. Like, of course, we try to, you know, get a good movement, but if there are, like, runners who know the game well, you can pinpoint a lot of things here, like... That was pretty good, though. That's a uh, room temperature water. Yeah, definitely, like... There's a lot of people here, right? In the chat. 200 people. 200 people?! Holy shit. Where are you come from? <laughs> I was expecting to see like 100. <laughs> okay, hello everyone. Also, good early control there. That's something like I'm very proud of. <laughs> we don't know if this is a world record reveal because, you know, uh, Scrafy beat my previous PB by a minute and a half. Which is a lot of... like a minute and a half is a, is a, is a big PB, you know, that... It's a very big PB, even though I have a death in my PB. Like, big numbers are scary. And my last run that had big numbers died to Absolute Radiance. So it's very stressful. Uh, that was a good movement too. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, what I was talking about is... Uh, I forgot what I was... So, so yeah, yeah, I, I literally... Uh, let's talk about this room first. So, this is a cool movement strat. You see, you don't waste any time. You just go to the right and to the left. You don't wait on this guy at all. It's kind of precise, but also normalized, so you can't get good at it. I stole this particular strat from Scraffy, and then I've seen Scraffy dropping it for his 310. Because if you fail it, you lose 2 HP. <laughs> But yeah, I think he did it back in 308 too, though. But yeah, what I was talking about, I really recommend everyone to go watch Lep's new world record video with commentary, where he goes over, like, a lot of movement optimizations and how you can move through Hollow Knight effectively. This is, like, very, very insightful. This is a nice bench pogo. And... Yes, so there's a bunch of runners who are good at the game. You can definitely see how a lot of my movement is not very optimal. Like this here, you could probably get the lever first. But at the same time, um, there are a lot of factors. So if, if I get fast, if, if I went faster here, I could have made that cycle. I, I could have made wall dash for sure. Even with the fireball, you can make wall dash. <laughs> Here I opt in to kill the gleam back instead of taking the instead of going for early control. You can uh, just uh, grab the relic and let the guy hit you. In this room, you will see most runners just do this, kill the guy with the vengeful spirit. But if you're fast, you can actually always make this cycle. If you do very very tight movement. Like, if you lepify this room, you can always make this cycle. Without right side, just like, do what I did, but optimal, and you can always make this cycle. <clears throat> that was like, generally, pretty good crystal peaks, uh, by, you know, 112 standards. Here I kind of wait.
<laughs> Here I wanted to go for Gwonki's uh, laser manip, but I, I literally forgot on what platform you have to do it. So I I, I was like whatever. <laughs> You can see me doing like a wide jump on the wrong platform here. <laughs> nice to Geo from the rock. Yeah, like, I'm very good at reacting to this gleam back. So that gleam back is RNG, he can go either towards you or away from you. Him going away from you is optimal, and him going towards you loses time, but... Uh, and you can... you should react to that. And, yeah, this is, this is another way... this is another signal of me being tired. Like, I, I literally never get hit there. <coughs> This is a nice current patch cycle. Um, Scruffy goes for 1 2 2 1 cycle. Here, he like goes for inventory drop into 1 2 2 1 cycle, which is like ridiculously hard to get, especially on 1.5. What I've noticed, uh, like, the, the big difference between me and Scruffy is that Scruffy goes for a lot of inventory drops in 112. Here you can do a little pre-jump before the dark to get it slightly faster like it did. <clears throat> don't uh, I, I grab this wall even though you don't need for good luck because if I don't grab this wall, Crystal Hunter always fucks me in the asshole. I'm being very very careful here. See how high I'm jumping just to make sure this bitch doesn't get stuck. Because uh, on my previous couple runs, he got stuck. Nice inventory drop. <clears throat> you see I'm getting ahead here, but you kind of need to subtract their 13 seconds from this pace to get a realistic view on the reroutes. So I'm like 12 seconds ahead actually, which is actually not very good. <clears throat> my best early game, I think my best pace would, would have like minus 50 here. So just to put into perspective how much more optimized this can get. Valley go. I mean, it is what you it is what you want. So I'm doing slightly different setup for I'm I'm going for Dream Dash here. I'm and I'm and I'm going for slightly different setup than uh, Lep explained in his video. I actually don't react to Seer going off screen for the dash. I just position myself on the platform in a way that I can just jump and dash as soon as the beach starts moving. I just do full jump and dash. And, and and it makes the same like the same thing. I just have like a different setup. It's whatever. Here you grab the wall so you don't have to dash at the at the bottom. Also like nice little optimization. And good inventory drop. Very, very good. Just what you want to see. Uh, this is uh, this is a bad habit of me go for three slashes before fireball uh, Because uh, we used to save the grab here, so you need more soul What you would do now is you would slash once and then do the dark And yeah, see dash seer skip is very cool It also has a cool lore like Zeno uh, an OG 112 runner like Zenonera <laughs> Like, f found it by just winging it. <laughs> I just got hit here, unfortunately. Uh, we used to do dash, seer, skip on current patch, and then on current patch it's very hard. It's like kind of precise. And he was like once, can you do it with crystal dash? And like, holy shit, you can. <laughs> 
which revolutionized this section. <clears throat> I was really struggling with this section lately. I, I haven't practiced it because, you know, priorities. But this particular D-Dark just... Zeno actually often streams, but yeah, these days he streams usually just casual indie gaming. So yeah, you see, I'm I'm really struggling with this cleanup lately. I I probably missed it like three for three, so I need to just go practice it for sure. And yeah, now we're getting our elegant key. I actually don't know if two neutral dashes or just one dash and walking here is faster. Like, this is usually stuff that I don't care about. Like, the stuff like that, whether two neutral dashes or walk towards the stag is faster, is just something I never time myself. I just, I just don't care, really. This is why I need more people running 112, so people can time stuff like that and tell me. Hey Ed, hello. I time a lot of other stuff, like I time more interesting movement, but like th this is just, this is just like whatever. I'm slowly gaining. Uh, I'm slowly gaining the lead, though, so it's good. This is already better than my previous run. Look at this sexy inventory drop. Just so beautiful. You can't just do a run and not know. <laughs> Any percent runners be like. There is so much. There is so much shit in this run that I'm doing that I'm not actually sure about. Th that was that was like kind of mistake, but I got good RNG. That was unlucky because like the ball got me. That was unlucky as well, but that was a mistake. So yeah, this fight was very confusing. Uh, it 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 was it had really bad execution. But some good luck, and the fact that I killed him at minus flat is is just is just ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, what I was saying is that a lot of things I do in this run, I'm not quite sure about whether it's faster or not. In a lot of cases, I know what's faster, and in a lot of cases. I'm not very sure, actually. Here you can crystal dash further and then turn around side slash, but it's hard. So in this case, like in this run, I definitely modified a lot of my movement because I just knew in the back of my mind that I'm tired and I can't really go for super optimal stuff in a lot of cases, so in a lot of places I just did this. I just dropped optimal strats to go for something, you know, easier, that I know I can consistently do. I also don't like rules of thumb because they can be very deceptive. Like, if I practice some particular sections, I would time the, the thing. But if I don't practice a particular section, I just would uh, But yeah, this is... Like, this is generally something I always do, like... I often know, like, few ways to go through a room or through the cycle. And uh, when I feel good, I would go for the, you know, optimal one. 
where I don't feel good or I feel nervous, I would often downgrade my strats to make them consistent, can make them more consistent. You can technically uh, sneak into one more nail cancel to this fight, but it's also whatever. Now we're going for the Mask Shard. This is a part of the route that will lose like 30 seconds. I've actually, I've actually timed that and I've realized that getting soul here is slower and it's faster to do this. I, I, I know, I'm not kidding you. I'm not bullshitting you. Doing four pogos on this wall is faster than collecting soul. And it's also faster than getting it before flukes. <laughs> <laughs> like, I shit you not, this is just faster. <laughs> and I got 3 seconds of a gold here because on my all, all, all of my previous attempts I got warmed. <laughs> I've missed a nail hit here so I have to, like, do... Oh, I actually have missed that, I just, I'm just an idiot. Oh yeah. Good inventory drop too. Oh my god, yeah, that, that's like a that's a that's a mistake I haven't done in a big while. And like well luckily I know how to back it up. I just know that if you do this, you need to wait on a second stagger. <laughs> I beat the Radic fight and I decide to heal here because, you know, breach, I don't want to risk it. Again, this is, this is an okay mistake to make. Sometimes you will just inevitably make this mistake. Like, if it doesn't matter how, how you know, how much setups you have, like blah blah blah, you just have to know how to back this up, you know. So I know if you do this, your stagger count will increase and you have to wait on the second stagger. So I just back to that perfectly, yeah. That was a um, good breacher in G2. I go for soul collection here, so I slash this guy and then dash at the bottom. Dashing at the bottom is faster than dashing higher, even with the ceiling boost, because it gives you kind of more falling momentum. And dash uh, resets your falling speed. I always go for this up slash. I know some people don't do this up slash and instead go to the right. I always go for this up slash. Even though it's technically a little bit slower. This is the strat I'm going doing for Hitless Malark here. I have a particular visual cue where to stop my crystal dash for the nail hit. You can always do an easier strat where you just do dash pogo dash. Which is a bit slower but I guess easier. Good movement here. And in my previous attempt that I showcased, I've missed basin skip seven times. And it really went into my head, but here luckily I only missed it once. <laughs> uh, I need to practice this. <laughs> yeah, th that's a little mental block that I need to fix. Basin skip and uh, grass mom cleanup. I missed the nail hit here. Not very good broken vessel. Like with broken vessel, if you get lucky, you can get a triple hit at the start, which is like super good. Here I'm just getting bullied. Oh god. <laughs> yeah, this is very bad.
but also in my PB I got a bad bridge RNG, right? And I got stopped on the and I got hit by Malur, so I actually it saved time. Yeah, I mean base and skip is just two seconds if done first try. If done perfectly first try, it's two seconds. If you miss it once. If you miss it fast, if, if you like just miss uh, the wall jump, it will break even with the second try. If you dash, but don't get enough height, then it will lose time compared to going around. So let's see if the curse continues here. I actually go for like maximum like, damage output. I shouldn't have slashed him here, I just uh, did not react correctly. You see my boss fights here are kind of, you know, erratic in a sense. <clears throat> I'm definitely doing a lot more movement than I need. And you see I'm not managing my soul very well. So in a lot of places here you can see me going for fireball, <clears throat> but not having soul. And here I just have full HP. So I don't even I don't even save any time here. You can get more faster movement here, faster movement here by pogoing the spikes, but I've dropped it because I kept getting bonked. Maybe I should reintroduce it back. It, it would save like a second. So at, at this point, I'm about like 10-ish seconds faster than my PB, which is also tw like 20-30 seconds slower than my best pace ever. So you kind of see that this run is okay. It's it's not like perfect, right, so far, but it didn't have any like fatal mistakes yet, like mistakes that lose you ten plus seconds. You know th this kind of stuff. Everything that we have we we got here is sl is small stuff that just loses you five, four, but I've also done a lot of them. It's not like. My 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 run here is clean. For example, here I got for tick tick kill, which I shouldn't have gone for. You have so much soul from this movement that I I was just too greedy on it, and it happened because I lost my focus and I thought I'm already going for fail champion. That's why I did that pogo. That's also very, 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 very small stuff, but also, I mean, time loss is time loss, right? Sh here, I shouldn't have uh, gone for the pogo. I've noticed that they've already, like, stacked pretty well too late. So if you don't go for the pogo, just fall down and shade, so you'll save, like, another second or something. Yeah, this is what I almost went for on my previous like kind of segment. <laughs> Forgot to do the dash. <laughs> nice Geo. So my previous attempt that I showcased that died lost 17 seconds to this fight. Let's see how this one goes. Like the run back. <laughs> Almost exactly the same pattern. And he, I know he's dead here. So I'm just waiting for him to go on one of the sides. Because if you stagger him immediately, he will get staggered to the middle and you will be forced to go for the damage boost. So I'm just uh, playing it a bit safe. Uh, this gym nail just a habit. It doesn't lose any time, Rekka. 
It's just it's just what they do, yeah. I used to do it on the old fight to uh, wake him up with the Shade Soul, and I just keep doing that because it makes absolutely no difference. It doesn't lose any frames because failed champion head have 10 years of iframes after it spawns. So you can't start hitting his head immediately. It's it's like legit a fucking second of iframes. <laughs> so yeah, Dream Nail here doesn't lose anything. You can even get Dream Nail and still get into his iframes. That's how bad it is. <laughs> yeah, here I... You see, that was like bad wall jumps. So far, so far, I really enjoy this overworld because, you know, it's not bad, but it's also not like it's far from perfect. Like it, it you, you can optimize so much here. Here, I guess technically it's optimal to pogo the background object, but I always go for wings because it's just so much more easy. Here I just fucked up. <laughs> and you haven't missed anything yet. Uh, I frame I frames is like a jargon that we use like a slang it means invincibility frames it's basically some period of time during which the the enemy or the main character cannot receive any damage it's like you can hit an enemy but you won't deal any damage I killed that Vengeful I yeah, for, for soul. So, I used to go for all sorts of convoluted shit for Gorp. Like, wait for his attack, you know, try to dodge the spikes. You know, react to teleports. Nowadays, I just jump and unload for flukes as fast as I can. Even if he teleports away, he will still die. Because he will teleport into like flukes anyway. So I just jump and unload. Accidental wings here. Like when I'm dehydrated and tired, I get like a tremor in my hands. So you can see this like dash and insta wings accidental, accidentally. <laughs> Kinda save that wiggle at the very last possible moment. So my previous run, I fucked, I lost 10 seconds here. And here again, I saved it, like, I lost it first, but then I've adjusted and saved it. Why are you jiggling up and down? I'm not sure what you mean. Ah, because I'm on an exercise ball. Again, you see bad movement here. <laughs> This is my Johnny's Dark Room, I you now fall down to that platform to avoid Vengefly Pogo, which is RNG. Also, I don't go for dash over, I just go for Cyclone. Again, it, it loses some time, it's not faster. I lose like a second to Johnny's Room. Like maybe, maybe 1.2 to optimal Johnny's movement, but it's also incredibly consistent. I'm on exercise ball just because it's comfy for me to sit on. I just got tired in Johnny's that like Vengefly Pogo can fuck you up. I mean because it's, it's literally random. It's really, literally RNG and reacting to this RNG is so hard and if you miss it you instantly lose like 10 seconds. So I decide to lose one second every time than losing 10 seconds like every like every fifth run or something. It's just faster on average. 
is the big time loss if you do Johnny's Blessings after banishing the troop instead of doing the Dark Room? Uh, this is a good question, and it only loses like 10 seconds. But this is a good time loss also, because I am aware of it. So th there is a different tiers of time losses, right? The worst way to lose time is not knowing that you lose time. It's when you do movement without realizing that it's slower. Like, you don't even know what's the fastest movement, right? And you lose time because of your ignorance. That's the worst way to lose time. I'd say it's much better to go for the time loss explicitly when you know the fastest movement and you just don't go for it for for reasons like you for example it's too hard or it's too inconsistent or it's too RNG and this is a good time loss so even if you don't go for fastest movement it's always very good to know that there is movement that you can optimize later or maybe never, but still, the knowledge is key. For example, here. Here, here I go for wings, but you can just go, you can just do a full jump. But that full jump is very hard, and also this wall is particularly sticky. So if you hug it, it will like 90% stop your momentum. And that's why I do wings here, even though it loses like... It, it loses less than half a second, but still. Why does it and stuff like this lose save time? Uh, I mean, it, it's just... If you mean splits, it's because uh, we're humans, right? Humans are not... Uh, humans are not perfect. And so you will, you will naturally perform the same stuff differently. So you would do some things better or worse. But yeah, one U to D and this is a stack directions. I don't like commands that explain things to be honest. I'm just okay with explaining them every time or with people in the chat explaining them because it creates engagement and that's how you grow on Twitch. <laughs> So this room is particularly annoying because you have to fight Grimkin with flukes and we go through so much- oh yeah, I <laughs> so I missed my pogo here <coughs> and I got blue strange. You see I'm waiting here because I have to wait for this ball to expire because it's right on the line of my crystal dash. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. Luckily I kind of know the timings and I know when the balls, you know, disappear. So I can time my crystal dash. <laughs> so that was like a decent room, whatever. And this is like a very generic Zillion cycle. I started going for this full jump of the wall. It saves 0.3, I think, compared to other options. You can stop your crystal dash earlier in the wings, you can do background object pogo into wall jump, but extending your crystal dash all the way to the wall is the fastest version. It's always the hardest because you can't buffer inputs after crystal dash, so if you slide the wall even slightly, you just won't get the... you just won't uh, clear, the, clear the ledge. Um, well, you know, this is three hours run. On the question whether such a minuscule time save matters. Like, th this is a three hours run, so... Stuff like that adds up to tens of seconds. To an untrained... Uh, to an untrained eye, stuff like that is not even noticeable. 
but if you add small time losses like that, you will keep losing a lot of time. And I think I'm kind of good at wall jumps out of crystal dashes, so I am very confident in going for them. This is a mistake, by the way, I've charged Cyclone even though I didn't need it. Instead I could have just gotten one hit and saved time, but since I've already charged it, I just went for it. Also here I don't go for the time save, you can stop your crystal dash earlier and crystal dash from the higher above, uh, right uh, underneath the crystal hunter. If you do it well, it will save half a second, but if you don't do it well, you will lose time because crystal hunter will snipe you. It is optimal to crystal dash here, yes, always, because this way you fly into the range of uh, the laser guy uh, faster and kill him with flukes. Yeah, here, here, I, I, yeah, yeah. The, so this is the thing I was talking about. I've lost my focus. I zoned out, and so you see what happens here. I was literally. I just forgot where to crystal dash, and you see what I'm doing here. <laughs> I just forgot what I'm going for. This is just sleepy brain uh, sh shutting down for a second. And <laughs> when you're doing stuff like that, you just have to mentally get your back on track. Like, you know, like slap you in the cheek. And okay, we're we're having a run here, please focus. I actually don't know how much time I lost there, but I definitely lost uh, a decent bit. <laughs> Here's the little reroute I do, like nobody else does it this way. Uh, everybody are doing either like all the movement or doing Dolph's reroute. I go for storerooms first, so I have, and then I do no eyes before wraiths, before uh, massive moss charger, because I want to fight no eyes without upgrading Grim Child. Because as you know, Grim Child can shoot no eyes, and she can randomly teleport on every hit with 30% of a chance, and if Grim Child causes a single teleport on no eyes, you already losing a lot of time. That's why I shuffle the things around a bit. And I cut some benching. For example, I don't bench in storerooms anymore. Because I keep my bench in green path. Yeah. So now I just save and quit back to green path. And here I'm calling the stack and continue with my journey down the green path. And this shit will always also allow me to later to switch to overcharmed green path. So I can go for no ice early control, like a uh, dream nail drop. Here I'm doing my cyclone later, so I get two hits. Unfortunately, it didn't happen here. So I went for this awkward turnaround. Which loses a bit of time. <clears throat> the downside of my current route is that you have to greed a bit more soul on this section. Because you need full, full fragment for no eyes. And I haven't quite lapped the optimal way to collect soul here yet. Because there's also Grimkin that can take one or two hits of soul. One or two casts to kill. Oh my god, I forgot about this. This is another place where I zoned out and almost bonked into the fucking spikes. <laughs> so I went for the safe movement here. Without chat, I, I just focus more, yeah. I don't really get bored from the game, no. I, I, I really play way better when I'm offline. So streaming actually hurts my performance a lot. And offline, I just have absolutely no. Uh, I just have absolutely no struggle in getting runs going. I just get runs very easy offline. Here, 
like optimally you would kill him with a single cyclone slash but since it can hit two or three I almost extend it once, so I release my Cyclone and then tap one more time. <laughs> yeah. I can do it when you're watching. So yeah, I got hit here. Uh, I did not mean to dash into, into Moss uh, Charger. I wanted to jump dash, but... Again, I kind of failed my inputs. I go for the... <laughs> I go for the... Soul... Uh, totem Pogo, but I should really stop doing that. Uh, so, Mirith, we used to... We used to do Dreamgate back in the days, but I think a year ago I've timed it to be slower than just going back. So it's just slow. We used to set Dreamgate here. But yeah, I've timed it to be slower, like in 2020, or so, in 2020, I think, or 2021, I don't remember. So yeah, like th this section needs a lot of work because I need to lab out optimal uh, soul collection for no eyes. For now, it's very like abrupt and improvised. Here, you see, she got stuck in the wall. Well, lucky, luckily, I had my double, so I just went for the fourth one and one. Overcharmed, you would dream nail drop here instead. That was an alright no eyes. Definitely average or slightly above average. And now we're going to upgrade our Grim Child and uh, get to King's Pass. But before that, uh, we to go to resting grounds to store our bench for later. This is also something that I've timed a while ago. Before, like, before that, in old days, what you would do is you would still store your bench in green path or storerooms, and you would save and quit there, and then call the stack and go to resting grounds. And I've timed this option to store your bench in resting grounds right away to save a second, which is pretty cool. And I've seen uh, Scrappy switch into that, which is cool too. Chuggers. So here with over with overcharm dream wielder, you would just dr dream dream nail this guy, this little guy. Unfortunately, get better in G. So you see, he charges at me. And I have to waste uh, both fireballs and wait. So yeah, I'm, I'm losing like 3-4 seconds here. <laughs> here I, I failed to get control after the dream gate. I mean, we don't know yet. I just showcased one run that died. So, and this is second attempt offline. So, <laughs> yeah. You never know what happens. I think you can do crawl it, but you have a higher chances of Grim Child just killing him straight away. You're also like, it's also okay to get fucked by Grim Child in this arena. Because Massive More Charger just doesn't give you any troubles, right? You don't fight no ice after raids. Yeah. So we get, uh,. Holling rates. I was okay. I was alright. <laughs> and now we do an oopsie doopsie. 
Uh, now we do a fucky wucky. <laughs> and now I realize that I have forgotten something. <laughs> and how do you fight Massive Boss Charger without soul? So I dash, I realize that I don't have soul and I rush into no ice room. <laughs> I charged the cyclone but it didn't go off because I dash. And this game tries to go for great slash. So I do this fucking awkward soul collection. <laughs> so yeah. Whoops. I mean... It's not a 112 run without shit like that. Like, shit like that just happens. <laughs> I literally cannot PB without forgetting the route at least once. But look at the recovery though, right? You, you like, didn't even flinch. You just know what to do. Like, the stuff like that... Like, I know that it's gonna be 20 seconds, right? It, it's just 20 seconds lost right here. For no reason. It's not like yeah, 20 seconds lost for no reason. But it is very important to let it go. In a run like that, <laughs> shit will just happen. The worst thing you could do right now is to start tilting yourself about or like you know start throwing a tantrum. Just let it go. You cannot expect the run to go well throughout the whole thing. Just don't beat yourself over bullshit. Here I got really, really smashed. Like, not, not smashed, but like trapped. Uh, I forgot the route, yeah. And this is cool arena, so like, this the dark is something relatively new. And I've stolen it from Scraffy. I don't know if like, he introduced it or somebody else slapped it out, but yeah, I've, I've, I've uh, snitched that from his uh, three, one of his bots. <clears throat> I generally like I generally watch a lot of Hollow Knight for sure. Not only top runs. I also watch runs from like mid of leaderboards and from you know people who are just like a contenders I guess. Basically I I I often watch runs that are not at the top of the leaderboards because you never know when you can learn new stuff. I also watch a lot of categories and there you have absolutely no idea just how much stuff you can learn by watching other people. For example, on Mantis Claw, you can do a little nail knockback, just like in King's Pass. And it helps a lot with setting up the jumps. And I've seen that and I've seen that in Gwonky streams. This is like Izma's. This is trending acid skip. We just do it because we don't have Izma's tier yet. <clears throat> so yeah, you, you, if you want to get good at Hollow Knight, you should definitely watch a lot of runs. People often, you know, ask for category tutorials and uh, for split notes, you know, for stuff like that. Uh, yeah, this is a mistake that I often do. I just release down too fast. It's been haunting me. I just need to stop. That was a good up slash. Like, Hornet... Hornet on current patch... got buffed. She got, like, thicker, you know? She got more muscular. So it's harder to get doubles than on 1 2 2 1. Like, I'm not playing this Hornet bad, necessarily. It's just... 
Yeah. It's what that was a decent hornet, you know. I'm not gonna beat myself over it. Grim Child can help you in Hornet fight by building like a stagger count. And uh, he can also fuck you up. For example, if you stagger her, he can wake her up. Which is really bad. So it depends. Um, so this time gain is from reroute. This is a reroute time save. Because I skipped his Mastir. So now uh, the... the um, the thing now is a bit muffled. You don't really know your real pace at this point. But I can say that I'm about even with my PB, I would say. But yeah, hey everyone who's coming in the chat, I see you all. Welcome, welcome. And now you see what we do. Uh, we call the stag at this point and while it's arriving we unequip Grimchild to equip Dream Wilder and Spell Twister. <laughs> this is a nice ceiling boost too. I just randomly got it one day and now I'm going for it. So you get the ceiling boost there on top and then you go for the cyclone drop on the bottom. Very cool. So I actually haven't timed myself whether crystal dashing in this room is faster than just dashing. But I've seen Scrafy did it, so I just do it too. <laughs> How much reroute? So the latest reroute that I, I've implemented in this run would save like 15 to 20 seconds. So this is a reroute time loss, but, but because we're calling stag and doing char menuing, so this is 6 seconds. <clears throat> I'm also kinda got fucked here because I... Yeah, you see what I'm... I almost dashed into the void tendrils here. <laughs> I don't know why I went for Pogo when this guy was so high above. Yeah, I just kind of fumbled this, this this split. This is one of the places that I've been neglecting for a long time. I just need to go do like 15 minutes of um, lighthouse climb. It's been really bad lately. What's faster, slash or obsolete dive? Uh, this lit dive. Uh, I think optimally you would dive. But you don't really have a lot of soul and... It's very easy to uh, fuck it up, so I go for Cyclones. Yes, Graffy has really insane lighthouse climb, for sure. <clears throat> Got the early control. Yeah, here we're calling the stag and go collect some salt. So I've modified this section a bit. I've labbed it out for like a couple hours. So now I'm collecting salt from this guy. And this is again, I, I literally missed my dash buffer. Normally I would dash it with this guy and hit him twice. And this salt collection done well loses only like a second and a half at most. It would lose like 1.2. To warm dream nail it is very fast and it's it is very fast and it's not very slow it's not that much slower but unfortunately i fucked it up <laughs> yep yeah and here i again another miss dash like look at that but luckily worms are controllable so you see what i'm doing I'm luring this motherfucker down. <laughs> and I, yeah, I need another more hit, so I realized that. So this is another fucky wacky in this section. <laughs> I, 
I realistically lost here like almost 20 seconds. So yeah, a single... A single missed dash input can lose you 20 seconds in this game. Uh, what segment in the run causes the most pain? Um, I don't know the definite answer to this question, but this particular segment that I'm about to do over Charmed Green Fight causes a lot of fucking pain. Better and G only three, and I got cut out here. I'm not being very careful, so I really need four on the second one. And I don't get good cycle either, but my nail hits were kind of good here. So yeah, yeah, very, very good second cycle. I got the spot and uh, got a lot of nail hits. So yeah. I kind of saved it. I, I really saved it hard. And this is the reroute. Here is where we go to grab that for the first time. We actually don't need a discount anymore. We don't need Defender's Crest, so we can just equip Spell Twister with uh, Dream Wilder instead. Which gives a very comfortable soul collection for <coughs> Moloch and Elder Who. And good RNG too, nice. Chat, I think I know what what will be my thumbnail for my uh, PB vod if this PBs. If this run PBs, I'm gonna find like a picture of toilet and I will like put a stop sign on top of it. You know, like no toilets allowed. So this is what I'm gonna do on my next PB. But we should see if this run PBs. You never know. Also interesting visual cue. Um, so after we pick up Egg, grab that goes for 4 Geo drops, so you can count it like that. Here I'm just being greedy, I don't need that much soul to be honest. I'm so used to dash master here that not being able to dash fast just hurts so much. Mentor grass cutting. This is a yeah, new movement. You just go to like Eater through this section. So you avoid um, acid grab because you get it um, during flower quest instead. <clears throat> yeah, here's like a little fucky whack as well.
Again, kind of sloppy movement to be honest. Not very clean. But you get the idea. Camera is of focus. I don't know like what to do, but um, I really h hate what happens here um, with my camera because like you have to disable auto focus every fucking time. Just like that. Thanks, let me know. Uh, strength gets equipped uh, for the first time in uh, Pantheons. So yeah, now we are doing the same movement as in the early game, but now we have a lot of more movement, so we just do explosion pogo like that. And... Uh, yep. We have soul for Mind Slords. And now we get the lever. <laughs> Finally. You can do a cycle here. Yep. Yeah, my butt muscles are pretty buffed. Because I literally sit on that ball for like five hours a day. And my like at the end of the day my legs I just can't feel my legs because they're so worked up. Let's see how Mighty Slord's fight goes. So, <laughs> you see, like, I, I missed the basic move, I missed the turnaround. So, this is just me being tired, really. I, I missed so much small movement in this run. That was good. I got two Shade Souls. That was just bad, D Dark, and yeah, a lot of erratic mistakes. Like, I mean, it, it was alright, but it could be so much better. But you can see, you can definitely see a pattern in this run that my boss fights just isn't, just aren't very good in this fight, in in, in this run. Um, Hornet was above average though, like Hornet was okay, Grim was uh, great, and Fail Champion was good too. But Mind Slords, uninspiring, Lost Kin and Broken Vessel not very good. Here I got fucking stuck in the wall. Uh, so yeah, like, and when you're tired. This, this is just so bad, holy shit, I just... <laughs> Again, can't do Cyclone, can't do Cyclone drop. <laughs> Go, ha, had a little meltdown here. <clears throat> yeah, missed Cyclone here too. Yeah, this is this is like this is way too bad. It it loses out of time to my even new goals. Luckily, I get this shit first try though. Yeah. <clears throat> so this is another point of me just being unfocused. I just lost my grip of the reality for a little bit and had to re pull me pull myself back on track. Oh. Yeah, this faster than Dream Gaiden up. Again, I <laughs> couldn't dash. This, this entire section is just bad. Again, I fucked up my shade cloak, so I have to wait here. That was decent though, like this drop was decent for once. <clears throat> So very bad section overall. Yeah. Uninspiring. You see, I haven't gotten a single gold here. Even though this is like a new a new route. So getting golds here should be pretty easy. 
Here you can opt out for RNG Essence. I decide to be like, fuck RNG Essence. I'm not going to bother with it. I just go straight up. For Soul Collection, I use this room. Here I wanted to down dash, but I, of course I fuck up the dash buffer. <clears throat> What's interesting about this run is that it has a lot of small mistakes, like this, you see, I just can't jump on top of the ball. Uh, it has a lot of small, small movement mistakes, so pretty much all sections play, you know, off gold. But at the same time, it only had like two major fuck-ups, right? Like two major fuck-ups was Isma's tier and uh, Mist Route. I guess Soul Master too, I lost 15 seconds, but still. Let's see if I can one cycle Umu for once in my life. <laughs> Uh, too slow attacks, so, yeah. Don't get good RNG, but, I mean, getting too slow attacks in this run doesn't... Isn't as bad. Again, I'm getting bad tricks. I, two times in a row I got bad tricks RNG. Insufferable. I don't know why I touched the wall, like, literally no reason in touching the wall. Yeah, another little thing, like if you do a neutral dash off of that, uh, off of the top of that tank, it will just perfectly align you with the very edge of the Quirrell's hitbox. So it's literally the most optimal way to do this section. Again, I've stole that from any percent runners. Or I don't remember who actually came up with it, but yeah, it was either somebody in any percent or in all skills. Basically from short categories. So yeah, this is a... Um, oh, it might have been green, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Lep stole my dirt mouth lever strats, so I might steal some any percent strats too. So I'm minus 21 now, and this is a time loss after extra grab that visit. So, and this is a sketchy section, right? You literally can't afford to get hit here, because next time you get a heal, we'll be at Hera. And here I missed my dash, so I hard fell. This section I always play safe. You can see how safe I'm playing. I'm walking here, I'm waiting here, like doing wings. So yeah, I always play this section safe because um, if you dunk, you get all the way back and it loses five plus seconds if you bonk here. And also HP, if you lose HP here, you just cry. Yep, just another movement mistake. <clears throat> I'm really surprised that I can mostly hold it together here. But again, as I discussed in the beginning of the run, being very tired can have positive effect in a sense that you don't get nervous. You just literally run with that attitude that I just wanted to get over with. <laughs> nice down dash. Hey, Pickle, thanks for the sub, appreciate it a lot. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks for seven months. Welcome back to our epic Hollow Knight Enjoyers Club. Nice up slash. Yo, sub three hours, let's go. I wanted to down dash here, actually. 
Again, you see, I missed my dash of the transition, so it's just mistakes that I don't normally do when I'm in a good. Again, I almost crystal dashed here. So this is just my brain. This is just my brain going a little bit high wire. It's 308, 20, 21? 20, 20 some, 308, 20 something. I think it's 308, 21. Oh, 308, 23, thanks, Greg. I go for the damage, so I go for 1 HP loss here. Um, doing that hazard response saves 2 seconds over going around. And it's just such a juicy time save to skip. And I usually kill most of the frogs anyway, because, you know, Geo. Every bit helps. Um... So here I greet, you see how much essence I skip? And I still get like, I think 12 or 13. <laughs> uh, the camera was down, so I, I was literally afraid to dash into this guy. Here I just, I just wait like a coward. <laughs> he goes. They give me kind of rough RNG here, but you you really don't want to get hit there. Lep, you mean Dream Nail? Second up Shriek to kill both. Nice. Nail cancel. Yeah, I, I had a little bit low soul. Ah, slash, dash, wings, pogo. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a very good strat. Actually, this is something that D Baby like done for like all skills. <laughs> this was devastating. Like that hit is so bad. We we would normally just dash through and uh, like what monster used to do is dash through, turn around, slash, then just wings. But like Pogo Dash is a bit harder. But also on 1.5 we have like Dash Master that prioritizes, prioritizes, you know, dash input. So it became easier, and that's why we now do do that. At least now, at least now I'm doing that. Yeah, Monster used to do just slash and then dash away because Pogo Dash after turn around had a good chance to down dash you into spikes. But with 1.5 it's way safer. <laughs> nice dodge. And I decided to heal to 4 here. Because, you know, I have PTSD, <laughs> so I need as much HP as I can. <laughs> so instead I, I get soul here. You don't really need this soul if you have leftover from Marmo, and even if you don't have leftover from Marmo, you don't really need this soul. I just get it, you know, for consistency reasons. It's something that I will probably... Uh, too, too early, jump too early. I'm not going for Pogos anymore because, again, PTSD reasons, I miss the ceiling boost. So, so yeah, you can see I'm getting way more soul here than I need. Here I tap left just for a frame to align my... Dreamgate in a way that allows me to cleanly dash from uh, through this devout later Nice ceiling boost <clears throat> That was very good movement like this room was so sexy. I bet even any percent runners would take that in a run That was very good room. That was a very good room Yep, a bit, a bit too much, too, too far to the right with that uh, trans dash. But it's okay, I have a lot of HP.
again, that was a very, very slow Hera, for sure. Because I took it super safe. So this will lose like a couple seconds to my gold, I'd say. My gold on this section is also not very optimized. Because it's also rather new. And you usually don't have a lot of HP on this section, so you just always go safer here. But yeah, this is now... I can't say that it's a real pace, but you can kind of confidently say that I'm a minute ahead of my PB right now. So again, I missed a dash input there, so... It, oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, small mistakes, small mistakes everywhere. And yeah, I am over <laughs> I wanted to touch the wall there, but I haven't, so I... <clears throat> uh, heart fell. <clears throat> Very good start of Galleon split for sure. <clears throat> Unlike that one almost see you around. Baba Gondala. But yeah, I said that I put my dream gate like you know a couple pixels to the to the left. And that's why, because it just like look at these dashes. Epic. You just get clean dash through. But yeah, I think real pace now is about a minute ahead, because I will lose some time to Vessel Fragment, I think it's like 6 seconds. <clears throat> and also I got... I golded Nosk in my PB. I, I got like ridiculously good pattern on Nosk in my PB. And also I had an extra Vessel Fragment, so I just went hard on... <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> What's that? Impossible movement. <clears throat> yeah, with Dash Master, top path is a bit faster. You don't really need to dream nail the devout because you can cycle on the dudes on top. Here I could have I think I could have done one extra wall jump there. Oh, again, I dashed into the wall because I'm... Um... Yeah, this is like two dashes from that wall. It's another cool little neat thing that I've also borrowed from Scrafy. <clears throat> Just a little small optimization. Um, yeah, so... I have went into this room to time multiple places, and this is literally the fastest thing that I found. The fastest thing that's not RNG. That has like no RNG elements to it. That can't get you hit basically, yeah. Oh god, I got such a bad RNG on these guys. Very slow sp Yeah, this is a very, very slow spawns. I get a lot of soul. So yeah, th th this is slow. And I charge nail art for no reason. You probably all know that this arena is half consistent because... The order in which they spawn is uh, consistent, but the timing is random, so they can spawn earlier or later. And that's why you will always like save and lose random amounts of time with the same execution on the split. 
Should just jump through this husk, fireball the wall, and dash to this guy because I have a lot of soul. Here we unequip uh, Dash Master and Grim Child in favor of Flux and go back to Nosk. I get stuck in the wall a little bit. <laughs> Fucking third try grab. Yeah, Lep, take your nodes. This section is so hard to do optimally because you can grid it a lot and if you grid it incorrectly you will just lose time. You play I don't I only start playing safer when I start getting nervous. And I only play safer for places I know I can play safer. So I only pitch something or I guess you know go safer if I know I can do it. Yeah, that was a good Nosk. That was a good Nosk. That's what you want to see. Uh, Sharp Shadow Cycle is pretty cool. You like align yourself for two damage tanks, like this is first one, so you can da so you can iframe here, and now you align yourself for this damage tank, like like this. Maybe this run will die to Quick Slash again. Yeah. I don't go for left side here, so on left side you can you can save two seconds and you can damage tank once or twice. But I always go right side and lose two seconds, but damage less. Here I fucked up. Yeah, you see I fucked up. But luckily Dashmaster makes this cycle like almost work, or always work. This is a... <laughs> I can't... Couldn't get into the fucking Vessel Fragment second time in a row. You read the rules of 112? Yes, I did. I, I actually partially wrote the, these rules. <laughs> so this 6 seconds is a reroute time loss. Because uh, we have to complete Vessel Fragment here. And it's slower. Oh, I fucked it up and you see I just have to wait here. And yeah, Sharp Shadow makes me get it hit one more time. You're in the presence of royalty, yeah. On your fucking knees. That was like 3 seconds, I think, lost. So here just cyclone this guy for soul. Don't care about this damage tank. That was pretty clean actually, yeah, that was like pretty clean overall. What got you the one minute ahead? Uh, not dying in deep nest. <laughs> My PB died to devout and lost a minute. And now I didn't die. <clears throat> so 
So this is a reroute. We go for quick slash first. Will we die to quick slash again? Let's find out. Third time the charm, right? Oh, the horns are so fucking sketchy. Uh, second time grabs. That was very unlucky, the way he hit me. You really don't want to get hit here. <laughs> At least I only got hit once, not twice, right? Miss the pogo. Uh, being careful here. Yep. Will he die or will he survive? This climb is pretty, you know, comfy, like chill. <laughs> yeah, this is a replay on an offline attempt, Leah, that I got uh, 18 hours ago. Couldn't get a clean dash. I still know if this is faster than shade, shade souling and then getting more soul. I need to experiment with this section a bit more. So you have to shade soul these guys instead. That was pretty good Mark of RNG, not gonna lie. Uh, hoppers can get stuck in the wall, in the floor, uh, on current patch at high FPS. Basically at any FPS that's higher than uh, 150, I think. I wanted to go for a ceiling boost here. Just barely did not refresh my uh, sharp shadow here. This is still so much faster than Dash Masterless. Like, like this room saves a ridiculous amount of time to have them both yeah, equipped. Not something I'll ever see. This is so sad. Can we play Despacito? For Rekka. You can't take this bench because you have to keep it on the tram. That is like 2014 meme, don't worry about it. Oh, almost got hit there, so scary. Also, I got hit, that was like an incorrect movement a little bit, so I, I, see, I play super safe here. Okay. Neutral dash Pogo, another neutral dash, and this is what I do now. <laughs> yes! Yes! I, I legit, I, I popped off here. I, I was so happy to do this right. <laughs> After dying, I spent like 30 minutes in this room to find a decent strat and I fucking found it. And also lapped a couple backups too, so if I fucked it up, if I fuck it up, I can back it up without dying too. Stupid mantises. And uh, this is something you could see in Scruffy's runs. Fluke. Uh, hive. So you don't have shade, shade soul, so you have to do this. Break uh, stuff with cyclones or shrieks. I charge Cyclone here in case I can... I release it too, too early, like I did not mean to do that. So already some movement mistakes. Yeah, Shrieks are faster than the Darks because their animation is faster. <laughs> I forgot my movement in this room, I usually bait Big B, so I got scared. That was good RNG, I can pogo this guy. I don't go for parkour here, I just fluke the small bee from this particular spot and dash through, uh, crystal dash through.
Yeah, it's just collecting some soul. That was a good big B, like definitely. This is like, this is not perfect, but this is something I will take any day. Like we definitely take those, you know what I mean? Unfortunately, big B decides to chill down there. So I'm losing quite a bit of time to this movement. And here you use the dark because it will break multiple uh, gates. So the sketchy part about Fluke uh, Hive Knight fight is that you need to get good soul out of the fight because collector and you also need good HP because collector. So this is how you start it. You pre-fluke the right corner and then you dream nail the fucker into flukes. There's a lot of RNG involved. You see I'm getting a lot of nail hits here. Yeah, And I've noticed that I have this rain so... I just decide to kill him faster and uh, go for soul collection. That was the fight. <laughs> nice wall jumps. And I have full HP for collector and <laughs> fucking hell. I just can't, you see, I, I, I do something right and then instantly fuck something up. That's the reality of sleep deprivation. I have a lot of time save uh, on collector actually. Because I, my PB I fucked up scream skip really badly. And here I get it cleanly. Nice. I like to fight many bosses in this game, Martindal. So yeah, my, mi minus minute and 40 seconds, that's a good pace for sure. This is not real pace still, because I will lose some time to nail three, because I will sell way more relics than I than I used to do. So nail three will lose some time. It's uh, exclamation mark uh, gold sound, the command. Yeah, leave that. Oh yeah, <laughs> the elevator. Oh, what a struggle. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh yeah, Th that's like any percent runner's nightmare. To miss the statue pogo. Oh, th look at this movement, it's so bad. Yeah, this is like literally wake up, you have a run to do. Yeah, I, I am not gonna lie, I, I s so when I got clean quick slash right after all these deaths and intense practice, I got a, a little excited and this wasted a bit of my energy and I didn't have a lot of energy to begin with. So you see what I'm doing here? I'm just fucking stuff up because, you know, energy is on the zero. <laughs> also, <clears throat> I mentioned at the start of the run, so I've took a snack, like a cup of tea and the bread, and then I've started another attempt, which means I haven't gotten a bathroom break between attempts. So at this point, I'm like four hours without bathroom already. And I'm really feeling it, man. And I know that I don't get my bathroom break after, after a fucking flower quest. So, this, like, this whole run 
was such a big struggle for me. So you see, I'm I'm fucking this up like a lot. I just fucked up that watcher. So yeah. See, so yeah, that was just that was just bad. I lost six seconds on that fight because I've uh, misfluked the guy. Yeah, this is not the first time when I'm running fast because I really want a piece. <laughs> but yeah, unfortunately that was a quite a slow split. I actually kind of want to go to bathroom right now too, <laughs> but uh, I will hold it just to train myself, you know. <laughs> See, so yeah, I lost 10 seconds on two splits and uh, all of that was just my mistakes alone. Here I forgot to bring the elevator up. <clears throat> Mr. Input button. I mean, not buffer, just input. Those are good dashes. Some, so the, the secret with Lamb Cell is that you want to dash right into the his range because his shop forces walk speed. So you want to work a little. You want to walk a little bit in advance after the elevator, so you don't lose your like kind of dashing speed. That's a very small optimization, it only matters like 90% really, but it's also kind of free, so there is absolutely no reason to dismiss it, right? And all little time save add up at the end. So here will be my final reroute time loss, because we sell so much more relics before nail 3, we're gonna lose a bunch of time here. But this is the reroute time loss, it is expected. Garret. Hmm, Vendazu. Juncha. Juncha. Garadel. Hmm, Vendazu. Juncha. Juncha. Garret. Garadel Akari. Yeah. Um. So yeah, lost 15 seconds here, like 12 to BB, 15 to gold. That's a reroute time loss. Can I get the route right here? Yeah, we don't go for Isma's tier. I guess I've traded second Isma's trip for massive most charger time loss. So yeah, I, I literally cannot get a PB that doesn't have either a death or a big routing mistake. And I supposedly know the game pretty well, huh? Oh, that was a nice dash, but way I, I was staying too close. <clears throat> I'm just unlucky with the scream. <laughs> that was so bad. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, good, like, that was a rough pattern for sure. So we're gonna lose. <clears throat> we're gonna lose 13 seconds to gold. 
But we, we will save time because I got a routing mistake in my BB. Uh, Martin Dahl, some of the time loss is from reroutes and some of them is to mistakes. Now we're going to Colos. I wonder how sleepy Colossiums will perform. Will he die in Colos? Or will he not die in calls? So yeah, Colosseum of Fool is a very, very focus intensive, uh, very, very focus intensive section that you should really concentrate on. It has a lot of unpredictable RNG and um, a lot of high, highly like precise and hard execution. So we'll see how it goes. The climb is good so far, right? It's pretty much perfect, right? As you want to see, like, just so perfect that I can't fucking reach this stupid ledge. Okay. <laughs> Another stack hopper. That's fine. Nice essence. A nice double essence. <laughs> Naturally losing some time here. Some swagging at the start with the cyclone drops and time dashes. I like hopping to the music on first color. Very clean so far. I am overcharmed. Uh, sometimes Hollow Knight UI is bugged, so it doesn't show overcharming. But I'm definitely overcharmed, and if I take the hit, I will lose 2 HP. So it's just a visual visual glitch. Look at this hops. Yeah, I'm always jumping to the music in Colos. Just can't do anything. I slash to the music on False Night. I jump to the music on Colos. Oh, missed shit. So I, I do a lot of things like that in the run. Other runners like do different stuff, but uh, you can be sure that all runners have like their special things to do in the run. You know. So you can often just take a piece of gameplay and tell who's running. Because, like, every movement is just branded in a way. I mean, slashing to the music in Pantheons, everybody do that. It's just impossible to not do. Like, you can open very, very old PPs from Monster and he will slash to music. It's just such a slashable music, you know? You just can't do that. And his Betrayed is also, like, perfect for Quick Slash, too. Here I try to adjust my hitbox to hide the uh, zone behind myself. <laughs> Just a little thing that I do. But yeah, zone takes uh, 8 pogos and then uh, 3 hits from the dark. I got bad pickup RNG here. So if I... If the uh, Charm Notch dropped to closer to the left, I would have golded that Colo actually. So 
so you see I lost point two. If it so if I got slightly better pickup RNG, I would have been a gold. So very good so far. Let's see how Colo 2 goes. Maybe it will go even better. Who knows? Maybe I will gold it. That was very good, holy shit. Nice start. Oh my god. Oh god. Ah, <laughs> no, don't heal her, you idiot. <laughs> uh, I realized in the last possible moment that I'm healing on the falling platform. Very nice, very good. <laughs> oh, that was a realization that literally saved me. I'm going super safe here because I'm like scared as fuck right now. Like you would just do nail cancel when he lands, but I'm going super safe here. <clears throat> and I'm super out of soul. Well, luckily I don't need that much soul. Also, I missed the dream nail. That was like super bad. So you see, I just don't have soul. So I have to do this like awkward, awkward stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have this thing when I'm tired. My hands start like twitching, you know? I get like a tremor in my hands when I'm tired. So highly precise gameplay is not something I can do when I'm tired, for sure. Also when I'm dehydrated, and I, I'm definitely becoming dehydrated when I run 112%. Because, you know, no pee break. But I mean, I have full HP, who cares? Oh, look how they aligned. That, that was just such a good alignment. I killed both of them with Shriek. That was very good, like very fast. Unfortunately, I don't have soul, so I have to awkwardly wait here. That was rather fast. I definitely saved some time here. Here, I decide to be coward and do two nail hits. I'm in a very good position, pretty much full soul, full HP. That's a bit awkward. Yeah, easy. So that was slow, definitely slow, but first part was slow, but second part was very fast. Uh, Obols, Obols went super blessed. Unfortunately, another bad RNG for the pickup. So it's definitely not uh, not 20 seconds, you know, it's more like, it's more like 8 to 9. Oh, even less actually. 8 seconds, yeah. 8 and a half. Much my PB. <laughs> Oh, a trial of the fool, my beloved. This is like the hardest thing to do when you have trouble focusing. I modified some of my strats here. Now I just do two shade souls always here. I don't let him get closer because I go for this dream nail anyway. Here, my mistake, I started healing too late, so I don't have a chance to charge my Cyclone, I got hit. And then I got hit by the fucking Aspid, that was just unlucky. So I'm kind of in danger now. But this, I got really good RNG, so I killed the Obol off screen. So I saved time. Despite of me fucking up, I actually saved time. Unfortunately, I have to go on the right and lose more time so this guy can die and I decide to heal once 
And you see, I can't go for for quick frogs, so I can't heal that one with a shriek and this one with a shriek too. So I have have to like awkwardly do this. <clears throat> but my main goal here is to not lose a lot of HP, which I kind of successfully do, right? I yeah, I didn't get hit. Well, I just got hit off screen here, but you know, taking one hit is nothing and. Um, we can heal here, as long as I don't fuck up more. So yeah, <clears throat> that was pretty, that was okay. It wasn't fast, but it was, no, it wasn't slow too. I'm fucking swimming in essence as well. That was bad, I missed a shade soul input because I pressed it too early. And got got punished by hit. Luckily, my strats for this phase is very comfy. It's definitely slower than the optimal one, but again, it's it's the place where I intentionally go for consistency because faster strat relies on double that you get on Petrus and it's RNG. So I just loved out this version of doing that. You can see blue and scrappy doing faster phase, which is a bit RNG. They like start with a shriek. <clears throat> Luckily this sanctum phase was kind of fast. I got good RNG. You see, th that's like good. All my time loss I just saved here on this section. <laughs> this is stupid how, uh, how much RNG matters in Call of 3. I'm not even playing that well, I just... I kinda get lucky. Well, I play decently, it's just... I'm just definitely not showing my best. That was good, that was good. Two shrieks into D-Dark, into the up slash. That was actually decent. I'm gonna pat myself on the back f f for that. So yeah, the classic aerial phase of Call of 3, full HP, full soul, and then you get fucked by obols <clears throat> into 1 HP frogs. I don't have Nail Master's Glory here, I have Dream Wilder instead. The start is this is the classic start. You do great slash in between of two enemies and then you kill the flying guy with the shade soul. That's such an iconic start for Call of Duty. <clears throat> yeah, here's unfortunate wall jump. Also unfortunate. So I'm, other, I'm already kind of down on HP, so I just decided to do this. That was very bad. That was fast, but also sketchy. So I'll just heal here. So the way I do frogs, like, I just go to the right, right away. <laughs> and this is actually very safe and consistent because you can see all the angles. You can react to frogs jumping off screen and you know where something is above you. So you see, I'm kind of managing all the frogs here. Right platform is goated for frogs. we out on Grabfather will save about 20 seconds. Uh, no, 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 actually no. I'm gonna lose time on Flower because I have to do extra grab and then I will save like 10 seconds on Grabfather. So it's like 10 to 15 seconds. And that was very fast. That was very good. I decide. I usually don't heal five, but I decided to be safe because yeah, I'm, I w was definitely a bit shaky during. Like that was a good call of three. Don't, don't don't get me wrong, but I I'm still a bit shaky for sure. Yeah, grab and flower five seconds. So it's like 15, 15 ish seconds on grab father. Yeah, <laughs> like surprisingly, for all the shit, this is a fast call of three. This is a good call of three. People really have high faith that I would never showcase anything by world but world record. You, you people don't remember how I showcased my 312 that was top two and not world record. <laughs> you definitely forgotten about that. <laughs> so 
But yeah, I saved time in Call of 3, that was very good. <laughs> yeah, I got my 312 offline and then I showcased it on stream. And I didn't mention whether it's a world record or not. <laughs> and people were hyping up, but then it turned out to be 312. <laughs> so you have too much faith in me. Uh, yeah, Great Prince Zode is required. It's a requirement for the category, not for 112 itself. So, yeah. It's just in the spirit of the category to kill him. That was a bad start, but then he started jumping, running around, so I just turned myself into a damage tank machine knowing that he's fucking dead right here. That was rather fast, yeah. Lost five seconds to my goal, but my goal is... My goal is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> my goal is like, you know, five flukes, he's dead. <laughs> and now we fucking banish. Here I fucked up my movement, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I usually... Yeah, I did one extra dash, so I have to do this like awkward, awkward like... Grounded one and try to hang on the wall. See, our sloppy movement is back. Yep, too low. That's cool. Here I'm avoiding, to, I'm avoiding the wall because that wall is uh, sticky. At the start, not at the end. At the end I just did bad movement. Yeah, those were definitely the days, Riggs. <laughs> oh, actually my first reveal... My first offline PB reveal was my 317 when I bopped blue by one second. <laughs> I just remember that. Those were the days. That's where I got uh, top two for the first time in my life. Yeah, 317.28. <laughs> and then blue is like, I need to PB by one second. <laughs> Yeah, those were the days. Uh, has anyone heard anything about Sin Sok? Yeah, I think latest uh, Nintendo reveal showed that Silk Song is pushed back to 2024. I think that's what we heard the last time. So yeah, unfortunate news, but you know, it's okay. We can wait a little bit more. Let Team Cherry work on it. You see, minus 140, minus 140, minus 140, minus 140. Such consistency, holy shit. <laughs> Here I did little wings because this wall is fucking sticky. It's actually slow, uh, like... My banishment gold can go down by a couple seconds for sure. Shape of wound can go down by a second. So my goals on this section are not very optimized. No, tips, I'm not sarcastic. I actually hate sarcasm. So this is a flower quest. So uh, people who watch my streams know that my last 
pacer, like, you know, pacer pacer, died to flower quest. Because I did an oopsie doopsie fucky wacky. Yeah, it actually delayed to 2024. So yeah, I lost a bit of time here to inventory drop. These first rooms in flower are pretty easy. That was a bit slow though. So this is a little exercise. Ooh. Try not to buy a last fucking charm notch. You just can't autopilot this section. Absolutely cannot. If you autopilot this section, you will kill your run. Because you absolutely don't have Geo. So you need to quit out here. <laughs> this is the first test of your focus. C cancel the Crystal Dash correctly and kill this Vengefly. This is the second test of your focus. Don't dash into this fucker. Next room is easy, you just fireball the fucker from here, from this vault. So use this infection blob as your visual cue to fire the fireball. And this is where my last pacer died. So let's see how it goes now. Nice, this run survives past this particular section. <laughs> It's also very easy, I just cancelled my crystal dash too early uh, on my previous run. Yep, nice wall grab, idiot. So now we're losing 5-ish seconds because we need this grab. So what I do here is I do neutral dash, two up slashes, and then I kill two little guys with my crystal dash. Here I do an up slash in case uh, that bitch gives birth. And here I'm playing super safe, you see? I'm definitely getting a bit nervous, oh, a little flailing around. Very slow here, but very steady. You can hold left and dash to kill him, this is right. But this way you lose soul first. And second, if you get unlucky, the little guys spawn a bit too closer to, to come for comfort, you know. Here I decided to just kill this guy. I don't know why, there was no need and... Ah! <laughs> that was sketchy. Not as sketchy as when two of them flew to me. But still. Here I almost dashed into the fucking spikes. So yeah. I lost 9 seconds here, so I lost five or six seconds to grab, another four seconds to just go in slow. I said that I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Fuck. Nice moment. I said that I'm gonna do it until I lose round to it. Again, I lost dash here, missed dash here. I waited here because timing wings after crystal dash is so hard. I think dashing here is faster. Up oh, dodging. 
Oh, that was unfortunate. That hit was unfortunate. Oh yeah, and here I, I wanted to down dash, but I mistimed it, so I got hit again. Kind of getting hit here, it's not the end of the world, but you definitely don't want to don't want to do it. This is a pretty cool strat when you do like shade soul and na nail cancel. That was so bad. Oh, yeah, and I'm 2 HP now, so I just go a bit safer. <laughs> yeah, so what I wanted to do here is I wanted to damage boost through him. I wanted to, like, to touch him for, for a single damage. But instead of like touching him, he just hit me, hit me with the two, two damage hitbox. This is just bad movement here, don't do this. See, I have to just walk. So yeah, that was a bad section, I need to kind of practice it a little bit. Lost a lot of time, 7 seconds, mostly to bad movement to be honest. Like the fight itself wasn't that slow. <laughs> yeah, now we're skipping the peace break. So this is where you get your final like 20 seconds from your route and the pace goes for full circle so at this point um, I'm definitely kind of so at this point I'm kind of both uh, you know I'm like just, just so done with the run I'm so tired and I, I'm also nervous, kind of nervous, but not really because, you know, I'm too tired to be really nervous. So I'm just kind of in... Uh, I forgot the word. Brain fart. I'm just, I'm just waiting what happens, you know. I'm like in eighth of something happening. Yeah, tips, kind of, because we need to plant a flower, right? <laughs> In masculine, thank you. So yeah, we're skipping the peace break. Maybe we can squeeze something here. I don't know. This is something that you need to like literally time. <laughs> yeah, this also will require either hand wash skip or hand sanitizer. <laughs> Please sanitize your dick. Yeah. That's like some advanced strats. That's like, you know, it's it's when console runners like spend 20 hours to pre prepare their uh, NG plus speedrun, you know? They would go through the game because consoles don't have a way to back up save files. <sighs> yeah, this is where we buy everything like we usually have to like on the old route we would have two less relics here but since we don't optimize anything in early game and don't buy extra vessel fragment this like is just so long the section is just like you just buy everything in one go. Oh, 
to us, Jill. So after this vessel fragment, you start shop optimizing. And shop optimization is, you see, I'm picking up the charms instead of vessel fragment. So that I have one less entrance to the shop. On this patch, it saves a bit less than a second. On one two to one, if you do it perfectly, it saves 0.5. And so this is a real pace right now. So this is reroutes come full circle. This is our real pace right now. Yeah, this is a real pace. Now we're anytary in White Palace. So yeah, as I said, I'm like this was like 3 a.m. already, like this is 3 a.m. I think. And I slept for 5 fucking hours. <laughs> Look at this optimal crystal dash, how you- like, I just got it accidentally. <laughs> Almost got hit. I actually didn't want to shade so I wanted to shriek the, here, but I just, I guess I didn't. I, guess, I missed dash input. So this is like a rough start for White Palace. Out of mistake, like, sp I just lost, I think, like a couple seconds in that room. Maybe a bit more than a second. Also bonked here. So... Sections like that is where sleep deprivation shows the most like tiredness general So I start going for boomer. You see you don't need this soul all this soul um, <clears throat> But I still got it because this is all strats and they literally comfort me I just literally hit those two guys for peace of mind Just to comfort myself just to you know like Kind of chill myself a bit. <laughs> I also do... Like, this, this cycle is whatever, it's not hard. But I don't go for cyclone here, so I touch the wall and uh, go for ceiling uh, boost. Also, you don't need to hit these guys. Yeah, here I just barely, <laughs> barely missed the lever. <clears throat> So I see, you see I'm losing time, right? But I'm going hitless, which is kind of... Uh, just kind of okay, you know. <clears throat> it's not clean white palace, but it's not fatal. Yet. I've changed my strats for this room, so I now I do this. And grab this hazard respawn in case. Oh my god, <laughs> that was scary, and also lost me a couple seconds. So I think I'm like good five seconds down now. Also missed that dash. I'm going super safe in this one. You see, like, only one turn around and again, extra soul. Just for comfort. I don't need that, actually. This room is not something I'm nervous about usually. This room just kind of flows, you know. Ah, yeah, that was a good room. And here, another mistake, you see I'm, uh, I missed crystal dash input, so I missed the cycle here. Also bonk, scary. So I'm forced to miss another cycle here, so I've, I've missed two cycles here. <clears throat> I'm not gonna get uh, walking storage here anymore, because I'm just doing uh, hop from the wall first. Which guarantees no walking storage.
And I see that I'm close to getting three hits here, so I just pog on this guy. Yeah, that was a sloppy white palace for sure, but I mean it was <coughs> it was hitless. Excuse me. So yeah. Uh this is not sub for 20. Also, I missed fucking fireball, dude. <laughs> it could have been sub sub for 20 actually if I hadn't missed that. So yeah, we take those, you know. Considering the circumstances, we take those. My gold here is shit, to be honest. It's like 6-7 seconds slower than what it can. My, my golds after White Palace onwards are very bad. So, and here, here actually I just realized something. Like here, what... At this particular moment, I had a realization. I have realized that I haven't practiced lifeblood core counting in a long time. And you know what I decided to do? I decided to pull off uh, I decided to drop the strat in this particular moment. I have realized that I'm too tired to trust myself doing it correctly and not fucking it up. And since I'm a fucking two minutes ahead, I just decided to do this. <laughs> I just decided to stay on the platform. This is what you should be able to do. You need to take your lose losses, you know. I realized that I have a high chance to not fuck it up. So I decided to drop it. It loses 5 seconds, right? Yeah, it loses about 5 seconds, but you know what? <laughs> I don't care. This is not a fake time save, by the way. Here. Uh, the strat is going down and opening birthplace earlier. Yeah, another unlucky heartfall. So yeah, like you would open this door earlier, and I I have to wait for it now. Yeah, it loses a lot, about five seconds. Like it's like four four to five seconds. Ooh, almost got hit here. Also, I'm not doing the fastest abyss climb, abyss climb, I'm doing all skills version and also I'm doing safe all skills version with one extra dash. So I actually end up losing a lot of time on this split and for reference my gold on this split is like 4 seconds slower than Scruffy's I think. Just to put into perspective just how much time I'm losing in this section and also... <laughs> I walked the wrong way because my hands were mispositioned on the keyboard. So you don't need this dash, it loses like over a second already. And then I'm doing all skills version, but also I'm not going for... You see, I'm not doing the turnaround here, which also loses time. And I think I also missed something here. No, not here. So yeah, like... Uh, yeah, th this section is slow. <clears throat> um... I should just take my time and learn faster climb, like the, the one that 106 runners do and Scrafty does as well. It's just a bit faster and it's also not that hard. And you, you see I'm losing time to not opening the door early, but I mean I don't care really. It's again, it's a, a self-awareness moment. <laughs> but also I'm literally two minutes ahead. I'm also 8 Geo ahead, I'm also 8 Geo over, so you see, uh, <clears throat> deprecating Defender's Crest discount, 
Kind of makes the geo quite quite tight. Quack, quack, quack. I remembered that I haven't put this shit up, so I need to stop my crystal dash earlier. You can also have some geo here, yeah, it's 18. In case you're a little bit short. But yeah, the magic number is 350 after buying the um, fountain vessel fragment. If I did. I should stop doing that because, like, next time I just want to, I, I just, uh, you know, want to shit post something on Twitter and people will take it as something significant. <laughs> Hey Emery, hello. Welcome M Raiders. We are heading to Gatho on a very fast pace. Thanks for the good luck. This is actually pre-recorded. So we are checking out my offline attempt that I had yesterday, like 18 hours ago, actually it was today. But we don't know if it's gonna end well. <laughs> because my previous attempt died to quick slash. Also flying. <laughs> <clears throat> but for now, if you have any idea of 112, you know that this is 223 overworld. And I yeah, I, I do that now. <laughs> the heartfall cancel. It's very cool. <laughs> yeah, it's it, it's an old thing, like it's an old like old thing that was known for like literal years. You can cancel your heartfall with crystal dash and with 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 a spell like that. <laughs> but it was it was kind of forgotten, you know. I remember Reka talking about it like a while ago, and I've seen Scruffy doing it in his PB, and I like shit. I forgot this shit exists. But yeah, this is 223 overworld. This is the fastest overworld ever. <laughs> and yeah, Emery, I hope that your uh, Jurastin uh, 103 went well. <clears throat> so yeah, 223 overworld. That's very cool. I actually skipped 224, I think. Yeah, I skipped to 24, I'm pretty sure. So, 3... 3 AM got home, my favorite. Like, already getting bad Vengeful and Just look at that, this bitch just doesn't cooperate. <clears throat> this is like 4 seconds. <laughs> Also bad RNG from this guy. I'm kind of playing it well though. Look at the snail slashes, holy shit. So yeah, 3 fucking AM got home. People who know me and my streams, they know that me doing got home at 3 AM never ends well. <laughs> Just never ends well. <laughs> Got home is by far the hardest part of the run when you tire. And you see, I'm executing it well, but I'm still losing time to my PB. Because my PB just got insane RNG at the start. And I missed Nail Slash, this is bad. Luckily I get good RNG. Yeah, 
Yeah, slashes to the music to uh, calibrate my quick slash. Stun lock. No, this. So the thing with my god form is that I have focused on overworld too much, you know, to learn all the new strats and reroutes. Uh, and my god form degraded by quite a bit. That was such a good start for, for Gorb. Oh my god, this this Gorb is literally goaded, and I jumped to spikes to get some soul from Grab Song. That was like the best Gorb you can hope for. Holy shit. And we're officially two minutes ahead. And I immediately get fucked by Dunk Defender. <clears throat> That's the second worst possible RNG. <laughs> Ah, the classic. Yeah, this is the... Uh, this is the, uh, you know, reality of 112. You focus on overworld and your god home degrades. You focus on god home, your overworld degrades. You just can't win, man. Yeah, I'm executing this very well right now. I'm pulling all my shit together. I'm pulling just all my shit together to squeeze last bit of focus for this god home. I slept 5 hours and this is like 3 and, three and 13 and oh my god this is so bad. Yeah you can see I'm not playing well. I dashed without shade cloak and oh god. Yeah that was bad, that was really bad. <clears throat> uh, my best uh, got home ever is I think 43.11. Right, yeah, this PB is like 43.18 or 43.20. So, this is close to my best got home, you know, in a run, but it's definitely not not that... It's way lower than I can get. <clears throat> I also get the worst possible RNG, yep. Worst possible start, I guess. So, th this is, yeah, this is the worst scenario, when one of him, one of them is jumps, Another one doing slashes, so you can't really shriek both. So you, you see, they're kind of trolling me a little bit. Finally, and finally at the very end, they you know um, cooperate. But yeah, at this point, this is a time loss. So yeah, net net negative, four seconds lost for now. Gorb was a highlight though. <clears throat> but yeah. Uh, this god home had uh, quite a bit of bad RNG to it. Vengefly, Grasma, uh, Moss Charger, <coughs> Moloch, Moloch, and Brothers g gave me bad RNG. But Gorp was a real bro. <coughs> hmm. But again, 3 AM Pantheons, I just can't ask for much, right? Right away I'm fucking this up. Just missed my spacing. Again, missed my spacing. Like ju this is just yeah, erratic execution. God, Th that was bad. That was bad. <clears throat> and this is the worst thing about Pantheons. Uh, because small mistakes will lose you a lot of time. Uh, and it's very easy to, to make small mistakes. <clears throat> that was good RNG. That was just as good as it gets, man. Bye. That was very good. And you see what happens? I missed my I, I missed my wings input, so I just can't do anything. <laughs> oh god! Yeah, I just fucked it up. Like he did a fake dive, and uh, because of the freeze frame, I missed my wings. And what I should have done is I should have dashed into the wall, but I was just too stupid to realize that. Bad trick RNG. Getting hit here. Yeah, this is bad as well. 
So you see, all my time save like just goes down the drain. It's uh, you know from three to infinity. <laughs> that was a good trick. That was a bad one. Mr. Nail Slash. Again, Mr. Shriek. A very, very bad, like really poor. They gave me a good pattern though, so I'm not losing that much time. <clears throat> I was on this round, yeah, it's like six or seven. That was a very good Marmo though, so you, you, you see like I'm getting a bad boss and a good boss and a bad boss and a good boss. Very like inconsistent uh, performance. I'm not even talking about RNG, just about my own performance. Like I, I executed Marmo very well. I'm not also yeah, I also executed Nosk very well. <clears throat> but still overall I'm not very happy about this uh, performance. Nice little strat. <laughs> that was pretty clean. But again, RNG doesn't really matter on Soul Master fight as long as you execute it correctly. But I just didn't execute it well. <clears throat> that was decent execution though. Also. Like at this point, I'm my hands are kind of tired, so I definitely struggle with quick slash. This is like so bad uh, for Shio pattern. And I did a little mistake here too. Yeah, that was uh, like a bad RNG on Shio with blue attacks. And also I fucked it up at the end a little bit. So yeah, I'm losing time in P2, unfortunately. So I'm already 9 seconds down. And I can save like 15. But also I cut myself some slack because it's almost 4 in the morning, right? <laughs> <clears throat> Pantheon 3, in my PB Pantheon 3 went super horrible, like, you know, as Pantheon 3 can always go. So let's see how it goes here. No, <laughs> but yeah, thanks everyone for the kind words. I gotta like be rain with Squeak Slash. Just look at this bee, ju uh, bee juggling. You just can, uh, you can just uh, stall this bee in the air forever because of quick slash. Oh, dodge that. That was kind of good, Elder Horinji. Well, other than that, like this little teleport, kind of sucks. Up. Oh. <laughs> oh. Why would you juggle bees now? So yeah, losing time, to Elder Who. I'm getting the scream skip. This is very important. Losing scream skip will lose you like eight seconds. Oh, just barely got him with shriek. Yeah, that was such a sketchy fight, but also clean. <clears throat> nice gold. When I don't have soul, I always go for cyclone. Even though it's technically slower going for cyclone on, on uh, God Tamer. It's faster to start the fight with Great Slash on the right, but this particular version gives you more soul, and I prefer it. Oh yeah, I just fucked it up, that was so bad, like... Oh my god, this is so bad, I forgot about it. This is like 5-6 seconds instantly. 
I'm also almost dying here. <clears throat> I know he's dead, so I kind of... Yeah, this one HP doesn't really matter. But yeah, um, that was horrible, Grim. Holy shit. Th that's just my mistake. I just fucked it up. Don't do wings here. You just do a single jump and then great slash. Galleon is a bro, though. Yeah, that was good. Why did I dash there? That was... <laughs> oh god. That was bell time, the dark. So each time he jumps off screen, loses you like a second. So you really don't want him to jump off screen because the waiting time is just so long. And he, he did like three, three of those in this fight. So naturally this is extremely slow. Hello, sporty. Let's see how Umu goes, because everybody loves Umu. And yeah, I'm getting a fucking slow attack. Let's go. End my life. Hey, I get the fucking chill and I just explode it into my face. Umu almost trolled me by stacking in the wall. <clears throat> nice job, Umu. So yeah, this is like 8 to 9 seconds of a time loss. 10 seconds to gold. Damn, bro. That's some spicy hornet. Like, parries are slow, but the execution was spicy on that hornet. Holy shit. <clears throat> I'm kind of gay. So it's it's like a bad P3, but I'm still gaining time because my P3 and PP was just so bad. Oh, that was supposed to be an up slash. So you see, I'm just me judging my distance here. Oh, a lot of parries. You you really don't want to hit parries because. Like, every hit can trigger two. Very clean here. Very clean uh, finisher. So it's fun how this Panther 3 wasn't even that good, but I'm already... I'm saving time, you know? At this point, this is like a net time save. <laughs> but, yeah, it's close to 4 a.m., you know? It's very close to 4 a.m. I mean, I definitely feel how I low-key start losing it in my head, like my brain just starts losing it. I have to constantly remind myself to stay focused. <laughs> I am on an exercise ball, yeah. <clears throat> that was an all right. Uh, didn't double, so you see, this is kind of bad already because I can't get clean stagger on him, and stagger in the middle arena is kind of slow because you really want to to get this, to get cornered, so you can shriek. Yep, this is cool. Yeah, that was good. I mean, that was a good ending, but the fight itself could definitely be faster. And yeah, no eyes. I like myself some teleports. And she also she only teleports when she fucking needs it. Just look at that. God. Uh, I just I'm just getting fucked here. Yeah, I got fucked on no eyes. Ay ay ay. 
Just <laughs> no ice, it's unfair. <clears throat> Missing a couple up slashes on Traitor Lord. So that's gonna lose like a second too. Yeah. I don't go for Task Scream Skip, I just do for the Dark. I missed an L slash here, it's not a big deal. So when he does <laughs> the fucking Dunk Ball just won't let me alone. So when he does this, I usually just keep juggling him because yes you will lose optimally, you will lose optimal time, but you know you don't have to deal with the Scream. So I just decide to go for it. Because I just don't want to deal with the Scream Skip. Missed one hit. Yep, that, that was that was decent. That was definitely good. And I get the good tricks are in G two, so both fours. You want to stay away when you uh, finish him with the great slash because. If you clean his armor, it will cause huge freeze frames. Let's go. I always do this at the start of uh, Markov because if you start like this, it won't really matter whether he goes down or up because you can follow to either direction. And this is a very good Markov. <clears throat> Overall, other than no wise, this is a very decent P4. Well, and I guess uh, White Defender was kind of slowish. So optimal, so like, for a good luck, you will start on the right. But if you start on the left, you can hit this middle one too with Shade Souls. So he just goes down faster. That's why. Oh, I here I just miscounted his EP. I thought he will die from that Shade Soul. So that's why I shot it and then took damage. Yeah, this is just a small mistakes. Decent fight, but could have played better for sure. <clears throat> you see I'm constantly saving a little bit of time. That was a sexy shriek. And I just barely reached him with dash slash here. And but this one I missed unfortunately. That was very good. So good. Whole I forgot how good this was. I was very, very well executed so tyrant. Unfortunately this bitch can't aim properly. <laughs> so he, he trolled me a little bit. But yeah, th that was a spicy soul tyrant. That was a spicy one. Not quite gold, but definitely a time safe. Look at the pace, minus 215. <clears throat> oh, and pure vessel. Five hits and you're dead. <laughs> I'm saying that for no particular reason. I would never die to pure vessel. I'm kind of being. I'm kind of being. Yeah, that's that's an unavoidable hit. Ah! <laughs> yeah, the fight wasn't very lucky. Oh, how does this? Oh my god! Like side slash and two pogos. That was so sexy. If I could avoid the parry at the end. I would have fucking came right now. That was just beautiful. So yeah, look at the pace. <laughs> I already saved 20 seconds on my god home. Just look at I saved 20 seconds. This is 4 fucking I am. I saved 20 seconds. <laughs> <clears throat> but this is actually not like the best before I had in IL. I got a before that's like 10 seconds faster than this too. 
so yeah it's like uh, this yeah just to put it in perspective scruffy got 538 in his pb you should all go and watch pantheon 4 in scruffy's run that shit was absolutely insane <clears throat> that was like his pantheon 4 and 5 in scruffy pb were just so blessed uh, yeah, it's uploaded on his YouTube YouTube channel. Offline P5. Say so Pantheon 5. Uh, my PB had 2147, which is 47 seconds slower than my IL run, and kind of, and I in, in instantly I got met with like. Very bad Vengefly RNG. Yeah, Vengeflies just don't like me. Thanks, Spirit. <clears throat> so already it's like four seconds. Instantly four seconds gone. This hit is fine because you can just keep slashing. <clears throat> Missed a nail slash. This is just me being tired. I got fucked here so yep losing like four seconds this is just bad execution this is like bad RNG bad execution situation so I'm losing four seconds here oh my god even six holy shit that was huge time loss yeah Hornet decided to fuck me up a little bit and then follow up with a needle throw and then we get back on track yeah uh, she trolled me a little bit here. Let's see how Gorb acts. That was a good start. Oh, a little bit unlucky. I know that he's dead here. So I don't waste my Shade Soul intentionally, because if I waste my Shade Soul, I will have to go for Dream Nail on Dunk Defender. But it was still quite unlucky, so I lost 5 seconds here. And you see how all my time save just goes to shit. Oh, that was a. I execute. I'm executing this uh, pattern really well, though. I got hit once, which is not a big deal. Yeah, that was a very good execution for Soul Master. But overall, this is quite unlucky. Pantheon Five for now. I already lost like eight seconds. Also, you see how bad, how poorly I'm playing uh, Moller. Just like very. Oh God! Just stop. Yeah. I need to practice Brooding Moloch and Pantheons, clearly. I fucked up both. I just missed nail hit here because I've pressed nail too fast. So I'm losing it. I'm, I'm clearly losing it here. <laughs> I think it's 42 bosses in this Pantheon. Okay, I get like mid RNG and he lands on top of my head. This is again like a dash the wrong way, but I kind of saved it though. Well, not here. So I'd say it's a decent execution for the pattern. <clears throat> 
I missed a nail hit here and a here, so two missed nail hits. And here he goes to... I... Uh, <laughs> that was fine, like, he was a bit sloppy. <laughs> oh, that was so unlucky, this, this jump. Like, jump like that instantly will lose you, like, a second and a half to two. Like, no remorse. You see, point, uh, 1.5. Okay, can I redeem myself? I went a bit greedy. Okay, losing time. Uh, just... I'm so desperate, man. <laughs> I was slow. I cling the fucking ball. At least I'm not falling down, right? Like th this was this was better. This was way better than in, in the Pantheon 2, but still kind of kind of Oh, I missed time the moving forward here. That was just unlucky, I got hit twice. So I have 5 seconds to save here. I missed a nail hit once, I got hit here, so it already goes bad. Oh, very bad turnaround. So I'm like 3 seconds down already. In this fight. Out of five that I can save. Very good start. Unfortunate hit, but... So them going on the wall is actually not very good for a DPS spread. You see, because of that, because you just get out of soul way too quicker. And now they... Yeah, this this dash just desync them instantly. So this fight is already goes to shit. You see what happens? You just waste entire Shriek on one of them, and you get bad Shriek RNG. This is like so bad. This is both unlucky and I kind of... Like, I did two mistakes on this fight and I just mostly got fucked. So I lost 12 seconds to my gold and 7 to BB. This is so sad. <laughs> Oh, and then Marmo goes very well. <clears throat> oh, got hit. Ah, uh, yeah, that was a bit sketchy for sure. This looks like a, my goal 22.9 is stupidly good, so it will lose a couple seconds. Yeah. Here I fixed my mistake, I did not do wings before Great Slash. I'm just fucking him up, like legit, that was such a good galley. This has to be a gold, right? There's like no way it isn't, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is much better shield too. That, that was a bad shriek. That was good shield for sure, like good shield, yeah. This is like, uh, this is almost 4 a.m. at this point. This is like close to 4 a.m. Instantly like the worst attack on uh, Hive Knight. Yeah, every time he does this like teleport, it loses a lot of time. Yeah, that was unlucky too. Because I, I just forced to get hit by the spikes or wait. See a losing time here. 
Mighty Builder who was extremely bad, like exceptionally bad. And here we go again. Or not. Yeah, I, I was forced to burn a lot of soul, but at least I haven't lost another 10 seconds. Only 6. Or I guess 5. Scream skip, very important. I missed one nail hit. Yeah. <clears throat> That's an okay fight. Again, low soul going for Cyclone. He just walked into me. Dash wrong way. Uh, that's kind of annoying. You see, I'm not D-Darken here. I instead going for Nails because I know that he's close to dead. And I need soul to heal before Grim. So that was intentional. But the fight kind of bad. He rolled a lot, so I'm ending up, I, I'm, I end up losing even more time. Almost. Yeah, that was like second best option, I guess. I'm looking for a ball here because I know that my soul has to refill first. So here, I could have healed to 5 and skip the bench. But again, I had this moment of self-realization that I should probably not do that. So even though I would normally heal and skip the bench, when I'm in a good mood, I decided to take this time loss to heal. Because also this P5 doesn't go very well, right? It's like two seconds to skip the bench, yeah. Oh, unlucky. That was such a bad recoil, holy sh- And this is like he's cornered, so I'm, I have to do that. Just unlucky. Also, yeah, that was like a panic dash. I shouldn't have done this. That was just bad. Yeah, that was kind of bad and I, I'm, I'm forced to heal a lot. And healing before Umu is never, 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 never a good sign. So let's see how it goes. I mean, fast attack is not bad, not like 5-6 seconds losing here. Already losing 10, so I mean, you know, it could be worse, like... Now I mean, it's not, it's not the worst, right? You see how... S oh, I hate when this happens, when Umu gets like glitchy knockback. Like you hit it to the left, but then you turn around and Umu kind of follows your turn around after getting hit. That's like such an annoying piece of jank. And here I'm forced to run against my gold. See, so yeah, I lost 12 seconds to move, but it's fine. Like, this is very good opening. I'm playing this really well. And of course this bitch goes up. <laughs> Every time this motherfucker goes, on the ceiling, you lose 4 seconds instantly. But I'm losing here even more because of other stuff. See, so yeah, that was just unlucky. And we are back to being neutral. Like, I'm already like net, ne net, like neutral to my god home. Uh, 220, late 223 scene. It's like 223.58. Oh, 53, okay. And I missed the nail hit. Yeah, I missed the nail hit, so wasted two more seconds. Yeah, definitely did not forget the route at all. <laughs> that was a good corner.
Oh, I missed the dash. You see, I, I just stood there and I fucking... Fucking lose time. <laughs> it's fine, Janker. Oh, that was such a fucking dick move from him. You see, I'm going safer here. Oh, that was unlucky hit. Uh, so bad. Yeah, that was that was bad. And uh, <laughs> see, I'm starting kind of losing time here and. No ice. Will no ice behave this time? Of course she won't. So I'll just try to lure her out. And when I go for her, she fucking teleports and she teleports again. I hate no ice. And now I don't have soul. And I hit her up and I don't have soul. And she teleports down again. Just give me a fucking break. I fucking hate No Ice. No Ice alone lost me 30 seconds in this god home. No Ice alone lost me 30 seconds. <laughs> I fucking hate No Ice. <laughs> no Ice is called No Ice because I fucking carved her eyes out of her stupid head myself <laughs> yeah also here I'm kind of I think yeah I fucked it up <laughs> yeah I fucked it up I think I get punished for it of course I do oh my god that was such an insane save this is very slow, like, this is this is just unlucky. You see, I'm just losing all the time. Uh, but... <laughs> I'm kind of holding it together. Like, you, you can see how much I struggle, but I'm still kind of holding... It's 4 fucking AM. Yeah, Pika was minus 218. Uh, yeah, I'm getting fucked by Tyrant, I think. I guess not really. Yeah, he dodged my... Oh, I... Yeah, that's just bad. Oh, I jumped right into the... Oh god, this is so sl this is so bad. Mm. Yeah, that was kind of bad, not gonna lie. And he can't fucking aim. Yeah, a bit troll. Definitely trolled me a bit. This is net negative. I'm losing 10 seconds to my god home already. And that's fine. He goes up. You see, I'm trying to time my shrieks in between uh, his swords. So that my shrieks don't get interrupted. Interrupting. Mm, nice, Marco. <clears throat> Let's see how it goes here. Again, losing time because he fucking jumps off screen. This is fine. That was kind of well played. That was too close. A lot of jumps from him. And finally, like, when he does a good attack, I'm in a bad spot for it. And I... That's such a troll. This is such a troll GPZ, holy shit. But I think I didn't fuck it up, to be honest. It was, like, an okay execution. But I've definitely lost a lot of time in this Pantheon already. And this is the worst possible scenario. Him being staggered in the middle. And I missed the shriek, so I just have to do fucking this awkward D-Dark spam. Yikes. 
and got into iframe situation. I, I, I'm forced to do another one here. It's very easy to hit his uh, iframes. <laughs> yeah, that was unfortunate. Uh, failed champion. Luckily, my PB wasn't that good either, right? This is such a roller coaster P5. Like not even, not even remotely good. Oh yeah, I, I didn't dash, so I got took a hit, which is kind of sketchy. So I immediately like back off, you know, like fuck this shit. I'm going for stagger here. Which gives me okay amount of soul. I wait for the, yeah, I wait for the hit there because I know he will die. So this is like 45-ish, I think, which also loses time to my PB. 46, okay. And yeah, we're to, down to final stretch. Very, very uh, underwhelming P5, like such a bad luck, like overall, and occasionally bad execution too. But also, I'm like so done at this point. I just want to get this over with. At this point, I just don't care about good P5 anymore. I just want to finish a run and survive, you know? <laughs> because I know that if I survive, I will get like Reiki no matter what, and I will probably get 307 no matter what. But these two bosses can also go so bad. You, you just see what he does, just parries and teleports, parries and teleports. No good attacks whatsoever. <laughs> he just hates me! See, 52, it's uh, even with my PB. It like it will save like a second to my PB. <laughs> and now Oh I've been losing time to my PB. Holy shit, that was so bad. So at this point, I'm just so done. I just want I just want to finish a run, you know, like I'm I, I already lost a lot of time in this P5 to all sorts of bullshit. So I just you know just just let me through, man. And I'm missing the hit right away. Like, look at that, I'm just staying there like a little fucking bitch. I'm just losing my time so I don't get hit. I'm going for D Dark on the first phase. This is unheard of. <laughs> okay, that was unlucky. Forty! Forty first phase! It's so slow, it's six seconds. <laughs> But full HP, full soul, okay. That's an okay spawn. Instantly take a hit. Where is she? Okay, she's in the worst possible spot. I decided that I don't, don't want to go there. I decided, and of course she teleports back there. And yep, I just can't jump onto the platform. <laughs> uh, I wanted to heal her. <laughs> I wanted to heal here, but my hands went like all shaky. So I just go into this phase without soul. Woo! Ah, <laughs> uh, this was so bad. Like, look at the time loss. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, Hash Kitty, thanks for 1000 bitcoins. I appreciate it a lot. <laughs> so, yeah, here you go, Theo <laughs> Yo, sir. Oh, Serpent, thanks for gifting the sub to Scrappy. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, unironically, this is only 307 because of Scrappy's reroutes. Scrappy's reroutes save like 15 to 20 seconds. So, and I've implemented them. So, yeah, you can see the time safe in action. Thanks, Scrappy.
Charles. <laughs> but yeah, I haven't seen 308 and I never fucking will. <laughs> uh, but is this 112? We never know. <laughs> what the fuck, Jenker? <laughs> Relax. Oh, Scruffy, hello there. <laughs> hey, yo. <laughs> Jenker, stop. 20 subs. <laughs> Holy shit. Bing, thanks for 10. Uh, and Hash Kitty, thanks for the sub as well. The fuck, people. Oh, uh, Scruffy, thanks a lot. Yeah, man. I, I really owe this one to you for sure. For real, for real. Uh, <laughs> so, um... <clears throat> uh, uh, hey, Strawberry. Yeah, again. <laughs> this category... Bug, thanks for gifting the sub too. Holy shit. And Jenker, another five! Oh no, it's, it's it's Twitch glitching out. Rix, thanks for gifting a sub to Doffy. Are you gifting a sub to Doffy because Doffy just nailed the prediction? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this category experienced um, experienced four world records in less than four weeks. Kitty, holy shit! Thanks for another five. Uh... <laughs> Doffy, Halloween, and Autonomous got the right on the second. Holy shit. Yeah, congrats, people. I guess I don't even need to see look the pre at prediction now because Rix just has all the info. Rix is such a nerd, you know, for good reason. <laughs> oh, it's Lauren. Thanks for giving us up to Lep. Um, this is this is Reiki, yeah. 27 seconds, um, 4 plus... Two, yeah, it's 27 seconds. So yeah, Doffy, uh, who, who is there? Doffy, Autonomous and Elowin are legends. <laughs> you, uh, you are entering the hall of... You are entering the infinite hall of glory. Of one wolf percent, all pantheon bosses because you can, you can correctly predict a three hours long run. And yesterday, when Lab revealed any percent world record, nobody fucking guessed it right. And here, three people guessed it to the fucking seconds. You should be proud of yourself. Uh, thanks for one hundred beats, uh, Samuel, and thanks for the prime Rumu, Ru Rumu. But yeah, here it is. This is like one three oh seven. Oh, Wilder has got it. Okay, I take it back. 